Hello everyone, welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. Today is Sunday. Uh, we went to... We had a weekend, huh? We did. We've had a really good sourcing weekend. Um, we hit sales Friday. It was pretty good. Um, we hit sales yesterday. It was really good. And then today we went to some estate sales. So right now we're going to show you what we found at Saturday's garage sales. Yeah, which was yesterday. Garage sales. And we went to a few like family run estate sales. I consider that a garage sale too. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> so let's take a look. Um, first thing. This is free. We got these free. We rolled up to our last sale of the day. She was pretty much packing up. She was done. And um, she had like a weight bench with these weights. And um, Lonnie asked if he could just have the weights. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, hey, can I have the weights without taking the weight bench? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. And so we got these for free. She was practically begging us to take stuff. Like she did not want to pack it up. No. We could offer whatever we wanted. So we got four two and a half some fives some seven and a half yeah and that was all free and i have no idea how much we get for those they're decent shape too yeah, they're not like they're all but oh, they're walmart mm -hmm. so, free for that um here's some more weights yeah we paid we may have paid a little bit less than the five because we did uh, we don't have all the stuff from that we sale bundling, together yeah but we kind of did like a make a pile and negotiate kind of thing it was close to five though it's probably around three or something yeah but we got these two for kettlebells both. yeah no for each yeah it was each oh okay i think that one didn't have a price somewhere price. around three dollars a piece mm -hmm. uh but yeah we got a 15 pounder and a 20 pounder these are nice yeah they really are and then um we got a pancho via chihuahua it's a plaque and it's all like this all metal is it metal yeah look are you sure what is that i don't know it almost feels maybe i guess it is cast it's it's some kind of cast like or is it made to look cast i don't know I'm looking at, that's what i'm saying like it it's almost like a i don't know anyway uh, the, the way your ring just clanked on it it sounded metal, metallic it's hard i, I think it know. is i think it is I can't tell if that's something on it or if that's a chip. I think if it wasn't metallic, Candace, I think it would have broken somewhere. Yeah. There would be more chips. Yeah, this is, yeah. Anyway, 50 cents for that. All that talk about that. Poncho Villa. Yeah. And which kind of fits in. We'll go to the Don Caesar. Alex? Yeah. Look and at that guy. This is like a conquistador kind of thing. Yeah. Definitely needs a little cleanup. It's metal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's metal, and he's he needs a little bit of cleanup and straighten out that blade. Straightening out that little blade it's there. It's a cool piece there. I like it. What'd it's you pay for that? Ten bucks, and it is it weighs probably about fifteen pounds or so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought it was cool. Yeah. It looked like some kind of, it looks like some stuff from the seventies that my dad would have had. I remember we had like a <laughs> when I was a kid. Man, people in the seventies. You had armor, didn't you? We had we had like a suit of armor yeah, in our house. Were, just knowing how his dad was, I knew he was going to say that. Yeah, we had like a suit of armor thing. Mm -hmm. It's not armor you could really put on or anything. It was just like, they had, we had like a, we had a pachinko machine. <laughs> we had some weird, like, and, and I remember they had like the bead doors on, on some some doorways. They had the beads hanging down. And so, <laughs> did y'all have that at your house? No, we did not. Uh, don't judge. I'm not. Hey, that's easier than opening the door. You just kind of walk through. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes a cool sound yeah <laughs> so, yeah anyway um we went to a family run estate sale and got this for ten dollars now this is cool it's uh 1970 it was a um an, it was a decanter filled decanter that um i don't know if they sold or just gave them to the alumni for lsu it's probably for some donation level or something yeah and um there's the name of the distillery i don't even know if they're still open or whatever but ours is in really good shape. The cork is broken. The cork is broken. Some of them, this is actually like something that sells a fair, fairly yeah. fair amount. Uh, a lot of them are missing the little ball on top or something. Like they're missing the whole top. Yeah. yeah. And so. we're not, but we do have a broken cork. I, looking at the prices. Um, the prices are all over the place. I'm, I think we can get probably about 80 bucks yeah. for we this. We paid 10 for that. We paid 10. Yeah. What is that? I don't even. I didn't um, remember you buying just, that. Napkins? Yeah, but they're hand embroidered and they're Look really they're really clean. Those are That's cool. That's why I bought them. 
Look yeah. at that embroidery. I know. And yeah, there's a good, it's a good size set. How do you know it's hand embroidered? Because everything. Versus like a machine or something. I don't think they did machines back then. I mean, I, I agree with you. I guess it could look, be. Look, this dude's like fixing a chair or making a chair. Yeah, look. Yeah. I thought they were cool. No, they are cool. I paid four bucks for them, but um, I always like the old vintage linens that are like hand embroidered. It's always look like yeah, clean ones. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of that kind of stuff anymore these yeah. days. You got that at the same sale where from, I picked that up? From this. Oh, from that one? Yeah. Okay. So this sale, this same sale, we got this. Yeah, and this box up here, which we'll show you in a minute. This is $5 for this. And I, ha I think it's a uh, it's just a coin. Collectible, so collectible thing. yeah a big collectible coin for the anniversary of st joseph cathedral it's a cathedral in baton rouge uh that's, 200 year anniversary huh yeah that's cool what'd you pay for that five bucks i don't know i have no idea what that's worth at that sale also um these vhs tapes of lsu games yeah so we have a lot of i'm not going to go too in depth but this is all like lsu baseball football basketball from different dates and the thing that first made me kind of get interested in this is they had Michigan. i'm looking for i think this right baseball, here baseball. this is lsu versus loyola marymount basketball that's from like 1990 i believe that's like a classic that's one of the best basketball games ever in my was opinion that Shaq? Yeah, Shaq was in that game. Chris Jackson was in that game. You had uh, Hank Gathers and then the other guy. But anyways, yeah. So this is all like just recorded stuff. And I'm going to sell it as recordings. And yeah, it, is there are there issues with... Does that say 1920? Cheap? Huh? Yeah, that I think that must be the first year that they had VHS tapes put up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> but yeah, there you know, are are these are there potentially is this potentially like a copyright thing? Eh, yeah, maybe. But I'm gonna sell these on eBay. After you watch them. I'm gonna watch some of them or yeah. see what they are at least. I might even yeah. Did you say what you paid for this box? I paid ten dollars for that box. Okay. These are vintage clothes pen holders. <laughs> clothes so, line. Okay. Look at them. They're very groovy. New old stock. Yeah, two dollars each on these, and we have five of them. Are you gonna just sell them all together? I don't know. I need to kind of research. You didn't comp them, huh? No, I didn't. I, I, I'm thinking. I, I mean, I'm. I'm thinking that ain't gonna be a great buy. We'll see that. Mm, I just thought. I know. No, no, no. I, yeah. I would. I take chances on bad buys all the time, <laughs> and that may not be a bad buy. I don't know. Yeah. All right, this is the first sale I think we went to yesterday. I uh, know it was early. It was like, early. It was though. like the third. Okay. Because it started at eight o'clock, but we got there like right after it started. Um, and she had I woke up and see all these Barbies. She had more, but um, the rest of them were all like new. And some of these are new. They're just kind of special. Um, so she had them marked individually. But they were either like two to five dollars each individual Barbie. And then the big Vera Wang one was ten dollars. Didn't we have another big one? No. Oh, okay. But it, it was you were looking like she had it sitting on this box. So oh. It looked like too. That also that Vera Wang one also came with this. That's like a signed. Is not, that? That's not a live signature. Is that a is that a print or is that live art? No, it's it's a print. It came with all of them. Okay. Yeah. Um. So yeah, and she had ten on that. And then this is um, Tickle Me Elmo. She had four on that. So it all came up to $35. I offered her $25 for everything, and she came back with $30. So. Which was a good price because just this Elmo here, uh, Candace, you looked it up. You thought, you think it's somewhere between $30 to $50, right? Yeah, just because um, it was still on the, wasn't it still yeah. on the uh, thing? Like it, it the box is, is not sealed. But, he, but he's, he's still, on card or whatever you want to call that. Now, one thing I did find out after getting home and looking, they came installed with batteries. So we need to take it out and make sure that it's all clean up right. there. 
no corrosion so yeah but i was stoked to find these barbies so the, these three are old right yeah. like and candace said you said we sold this swim this swimsuit yeah this went just the swimsuit we've sold for ten dollars okay so it's called Hel helinki or helinka swimsuit something like that yep so we're gonna so you looked up vera wing too right yeah um it's okay maybe like 30 bucks um i, I was expecting a lot more so. okay so we have but just between these two we'll kind of double our money before fees and then this this is, is going to be more profit yeah. here all right so all the stuff up here plus um the two kettlebells yeah that we showed y'all we got this all at once and we paid about 60 bucks i think for everything mm -hmm. because we we worked it all into one pile so okay. like this game was originally eight and that game was eight i kind of when i was working on the deal i said how about five for these and she's like yeah that's fine and everything was kind of like that it's getting like 20 30 percent lower than the asking mm -hmm. so but yeah i didn't even look at this this that's thing a game boy alarm clock <laughs> yeah it's kind of cool it's very cool looking. i looked it up i don't think they're worth a lot of money maybe 20 bucks well that would be fine yeah okay um we have a puzzle that's sealed we always like to pick those up those sell good for us the big puzzles that are still sealed except for those ones we have back there now that haven't sold yet but those are like I don't know. they're not good puzzles yeah, like, like that the big good puzzles like this. yeah that's a pretty good puzzle um i don't know cardboard about game <laughs> sealed Yep. And then we have a Game of Thrones Monopoly, Monopoly. Game of Thrones, not sealed. I wanted to see what the pieces look like. And we, we have a risk. It. Look at those. How cool. Yeah, those look are cool. That. Look at that. Looks like it. I would be shocked if uh, I guess it was probably played yeah. once or something. Look, the houses are castles. Yeah. That's cool. Yep, so we got a Monopoly Game of Thrones and a Risk Game of Thrones. The Risk is still sealed. Yeah, that is sealed. And I think that. I think we're going to get about 50 bucks for that somewhere around there maybe a little more now this is a pricing and ethical guidelines book for artists graphical artists guild yeah I, I guess it's just I don't know I saw that book I thought it was di different unique. yeah so I picked it up it they didn't really add that much to the price of the whole deal yeah then uh they had these games here and this part of the negotiation they had them all priced individually, like 10 and 5, etc. But I didn't pay that. I held up. We were about to leave. I wasn't going to buy the games. Maybe I shouldn't because I didn't look them up or anything. But I held these games up and then these books and this book too. And I paid 25 for that. For all of this. Yeah, for this little part of the pile here. These last two things were part of that other bundle. We have some... Um margaritaville highball glasses i think we spent a total of 65 there margaritaville highball is that mm -hmm. what they are yep and then this is a carhartt backpack it's never been used no I mean, you look can at tell. the bottom look at the bottom yep yeah and that added they that added five dollars to the deal it it was a little fuzzy how much we actually spent for all this stuff but we got we did really good on that deal i thought yeah all right this is another sale that was like man they had like three rooms like wall-to-wall -wall cookbooks yeah i'm like it was in a, like an estate sale i'm like man they really love to cook and they're like no he didn't cook at all he just liked reading cookbooks you no know, he no he, he liked buying cookbooks well, yeah. Hort, cookbook quarter yeah um but yeah so th this sale it was the landlord or the owner of the property that there the person they were renting to died yeah and then they were and then the family just left all the crap there in the house well the, the family probably came and took what they wanted and this is what was left. yeah but that's weird to leave all that stuff behind a rental yeah you know i guess you're not getting that deposit well maybe you do get the deposit back depending on how much they sold maybe the stuff they sold is the deposit i don't know who knows that's not our problem yeah. i don't know why we're so anyway whatever. they had it was weird that they did have these books there there these some anime or, or not yeah, really huh? not really anime just some young adult books but that, that ended up costing five dollars i think for the all of those yeah and then check this out i've never heard of this before some of y'all that live up there gary indiana u.s steel gary indiana home of the Railcat steel yard 
USS Steel. Yeah. That's USS. That's US Steel's USS. Oh, okay. And so this is like a baseball. Tenth anniversary. Team. So I don't know. I almost think I haven't looked. Now keep in mind, I haven't Googled this or looked it up or nothing. So I'm just like you think guessing. It's like a company team. I think it's a company team. Yeah. That's what I think. I'm always curious, like how does something like this end up in Baton Rouge, Louisiana? You know. So, yeah, because we don't have steel industry here. No. <laughs> but I think it's really an interesting. Is so there we, anything on the back? No, no, we paid five for that. Yeah, that was five. They yeah. they wanted a little. Ec we probably could have got it cheaper. Okay. But. So in addition to cookbooks, this guy. I mean, I think he was really a foodie because. There was three racks of t-shirts. I think he was it. Yeah. And they were all like local regional restaurants. Right. From like Baton Rouge to Florida. Um, and he was also a teacher at Bel Air. So um, we grabbed some Bel Air shirts. The t-shirts were two for a dollar. We're going to lot all the Bel Air. This is Bel Air High School. We're going to lot all that up in one lot because they're all the same size. This is my alma mater. Candace graduated from this school, by yeah. the way. So all that's going to go together. I think we might have a few more, too. And then, let's see, 50th Annual Catfish Festival in Washington, Louisiana. Shrimp and Petroleum Festival. Shrimp and Petroleum. What, Morgan City. Nothing goes together better than that. And this is my maiden name. So Bergeron's Boudin. Boudin and Cajun Meats. I may give this to my brother. Because look at the back. <laughs> that is awesome. Yep. I like that. That's And, and we're saying Bergeron, but... Bajeron. It's really Bajeron. Don't ask me why. But that's, that's because your mommy t said that's what it is. No, my dad. And anybody that is from South Louisiana and has that name, that's how they say it's pronounced. Bajeron. Ever since I met Candace and I heard her say that, I'm like, you're saying it wrong. <laughs> it's Bergeron. Bergeron. Look, they don't use phonics now anyway. So. Phonics. <laughs> All, right. All right. Same sale. Moving on. We got hats. We paid. It ended up being like a dollar fifty. That is weird. Is that the coolest thing? <laughs> I don't this is like an appliance hat. <laughs> That's an appliance. <laughs> I know. I love it. Don't you like that? That is cool. Look, look at me. Why, why are you looking at me? You think I should wear that? Here, put I'm it not. on. Put it on for a thumbnail, maybe. All right. So anyway, we got uh, all these hats. This is this is an old Cajun restaurant that's no longer in business. That's a casino. I don't know why I got that. This is a restaurant um, originating in New Orleans. We did have one here in Baton Rouge. just shut down now. Copeland's. Tony Shashri's. Everybody Sh knows what Wait, how you say? Shashri's. Shashri? Shashri. Shashri. Here's another Copeland's. Country Club of Louisiana. Believe it or not, we have country clubs here. We fancy. <laughs> Sullivan's <laughs> Steakhouse. Sullivan's Steakhouse. With the uh, Hound Tooth. And WRBT 33 Baton Rouge. How much you pay for those? Well, it was like a little over a dollar a piece. Like dollar dollar and a quarter to dollar fifty a piece and then this red rock pack yeah this is like she's Tac the, tactical this was part we this is part of this buy but it wasn't with this buy this is something the lady that was selling brought up there and she said this is her dad's it's a really cool pack he brought this to iraq never yeah. used it there and then brought it back home yeah. and here it is now it is a cool pack yeah i do like it and i gotta tell y'all if y'all watched the videos last week i showed y'all some 511 tactical packs that we bought bolo which i didn't know we had a laptop um bag and a, a backpack and like a messenger bag and they're all they're both gone already paid five piece five dollars a piece for them and one sold for 90 the other sold for 80 plus ship so yeah they had like this velcro for them just to, like this yeah. to put like attached name tapes or whatever to yeah. so yeah. this is a cool one it it's very well made you mm -hmm. can feel it just like the 511 tactical stuff when i bought it when i picked it up you can feel it when something feels like it was made at walmart yeah. it's sold by walmart versus sturdy canvas right yeah. and then look like this stuff is all real yeah, so you can wear it over your shoulder or around the waist. So it's a battle purse, basically. It's a, yeah, it's you a can do like a hip bag. Yeah, it's a war purse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the sale where I showed you all those LSU tapes, they had two pairs of Wranglers jeans. Same size, with right? Same exact size, 36, 34, 36, 34. And they're both new with tags. And I don't love jeans anymore, but I like the new, tags, yeah. new jeans 
and they only wanted a dollar. I paid a dollar a piece for these. Yeah. So we'll probably lot those together. And who knows? It might this be 30 that, bucks. This is that same sale that had the LSU alumni decanter. Um, same so, place I got this. Yeah, got that and these items. I also, okay, so I, this was a bundle deal. I couldn't believe when she told me the price. Also, I guess I should have brought it here to show you. I have a um, the same color. It's a casserole dish with the lid, Pyrex. It has the snowflakes on the side. I already had the bigger one, and then they have the next size down. So I, I had that in this bowl and this Jack's beer um, what do you, tray. So I walk up there with my little pile, and I'm like, how much? She said five for everything, and I was like, <laughs> is that what you did <laughs> i tried to hide my excitement <laughs> she, she did the uh, old southern so, feigning girl thing so yeah i'm keeping that snowflake thing but let me tell you about this little bowl here oh there's a story behind there's a that story about it's, this bowl uh, okay this bowl belongs and i was like do you have any more turquoise pieces because I, I was hoping she had the rest of this this is part of a chip and dip set there is a bigger bowl in the same shape, same color, and then there's a, a bracket to mm -hmm. like set it on the rim. Um, if you have that whole set, we're talking over $200. Okay. Just this little bowl, $45. Wow. Yeah. So that's a home home runner there. Yeah. You paid you paid like a dollar or something and you're gonna get 45. Right. And then I looked up this Jack's beer sign. Jack's is a New Orleans brewery. Um, Didn't we, we actually ran into someone a couple of weeks ago whose family whose owned family it family owned that and a bunch of property back on the uh riverfront yeah it's right by the mississippi river in new orleans and um that's where the the brewery was yeah. and we met a guy that he was talking to candace he had a little thing for candace I no think. i went to him because i heard him okay we were in the state sale that he came in saying do y'all still have the jacks um beer stein and she's like, no, that's all. And he's like, oh, bummer. My family owned that brewery. So um, long story short, my mom has a, some Jack stuff. That was my dad's. And I know she's going to want to sell it. So I went and talked to the guy to see if he'd be interested and in, um, if she decides to sell it. So that's why I was talking to him about it. Anyway, <laughs> back to the tray. Uh, that $5 deal. I looked this up. One recently sold for $75. Now, mine does have some minor scratches on it. It's not bad. It's not bad. So I'm thinking at least $50. Actually, you know what? I want, I don't, I don't, I don't, I think that might be something on the paint on top of. Oh, it doesn't feel like a scratch. Huh? That's what I'm saying. I think it's yeah. something on top of that you might be able to clean. Now, some, there are some scratches on the back. Yeah. Uh, as a lithographed metal whatever that means don't slide it across bars or tables yeah. don't use it for collecting knives or forks okay yeah so anyway that's cool yeah, that okay this is my find check this out you paid five yeah it's five this that's is the fulton sign and price markers it's basically a bunch of little stamps for making stores to make their own signs you've got each on here there's like a little hand pointing so can and whenever each won't work, maybe per is more to your liking. Yeah. Per each. <laughs> Reduce to. Yeah. And then, of course, all the letters and numbers. Yep. This is fun. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it. Look, there's just a little hand pointing, finger pointing there. I wonder what year it is. It doesn't have it on there. It just says, ma it says made in USA. So, yeah, that's really cool. It's, it, it's so, like, look, you could just see, like, you know what I really like about it? Their advertising departments back there making their signs. And <laughs> I just love like on a piece like this, like you hear them talk about on American Pickers. Not that we're American Pickers, no, but <laughs> but one of the like I feel like this set, like you can tell it kind of tells a story. Just look at all the wear, yeah. and you can see like oh, is, what's this M gonna look like? Oh yeah, yeah okay, I'll make. You know, it's, it's like you can, it just tells a story. I think it's cool. And look at all the, look at all the night, the awesome wear, mm -hmm. wear that, like that is, I like it. I yep. just like that whole piece. Really cool. All right, some Time Life Western books. Paid a buck. Cowboy books, Indians. Bucks buck for each. those. Oh, <laughs> we thought this was funny. We picked this up, maybe for Molly to read, who knows. Mo Molly is a big time cat lover. She loves cats. This is Dulac Dat Cajun Cat. <laughs> 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 so there you go. I guess it's about his adventures. Uh, oh man. Look, he's at the Mardi Gras. If you've Dulac. never been to Mardi Gras in New Orleans, they get up on ladders to catch the stuff. 
Like, and people make elaborate ladders. Like, they make chairs on them and stuff. It's crazy. Um, this book is interesting. It's from the 40s. Yes, yeah, from 1948. Look at the, what caught my eye about this book. And it may be totally, like, worth a dollar or something. Yeah. I don't know. Is just the quality of the, the artwork, the, the artwork, prints. Yeah. If you see the, the print process is next level printing process because look at the colors how vivid mm -hmm. it reminds me of some religious and prints sharp. i almost think these are like lith lith uh, like a lithography type so i don't know maybe yeah. i'm wrong but paid a dollar for this book i love it though the, just the look and feel of it tales told in holland yeah and you, and you know what's cool about it too it's just like this piece it's got enough wear to where you could tell that somebody really enjoyed it but not enough wear to where it's Falling not sellable apart, yeah. or anything. Same sale. We got the sign. Now we're debating if it's a like just a decorative thing or if it was a legitimate sign. We paid a buck for it. I oh. think, you know what? The more I look at it, I, the more I think that's a legit street sign from London. One thing, because of, look how big the holes are yeah. and where they're placed. Right. If, it was, if this is a decorative, it would have holes in the corners. Or sometimes just one little hole. It, it would probably be on the corners, though. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know but yeah I mean it is like it's not super heavy but it's thicker it's, dirty, yeah. it's thicker than you would expect for like decor mm -hmm. uh, look at cool that looking it way. is cool we said if we couldn't sell it we'd throw it on the wall I know it. yeah and then I'll cry whenever it sells all right some Archie books paid a buck a piece for those yeah we grew up on Archie I did. I love Archie. Yeah. Like when I go to the grocery, look, oh, look, it looks like it's photocopy. It is. That's weird. What? That is so weird. It, it looks like they went to Kinko's or something and just like copied they, these things up. But what there, the heck? there's other stuff in here, like, um, that's just like backstory or whatever. Yeah. How? Oh, okay. See, like a, origins. It's a book about Archie. Yeah. Okay. His first 50 years. Yeah. And best of the fifties and best of the forties, Archie. There's a big. There's a lot of people that like Archie. Yep. Including us. Not enough to keep it though. Nope. Now the the garage sale that where I showed y'all the first thing, the weights, the free weights, the free free weights. <laughs> um, I hope that sign didn't mean free weights. You know that's a thing, right? Lifting like free uh, weights. I bet it did. No, it didn't. You think she was just giving them? Oh. Them? Lonnie. Free weights. But now, when that... Uh-oh. When that sign... Hey, lady. Hey, lady. Are these really free weights? Was that supposed to be free, or was I being weird coming to your house and saying, is that free? Huh. Okay, anyways. This... The, so, we did buy something there. Uh, she had this Boy Scout stuff that I, I'm really wanting to just put it all together and just sell it. But well, I mean, I would bundle the, scrap, the, the scrap. scrapbook and then the rest of this. They have scrapbook stuff here. Like, there's a here's a scrapbook album. Oh, look at this. It's nice, Candace. Yeah. Look at that. That's cool. So we have this Bo Cub Scout scrapbook album, and then they have that's some like stuff, yeah. lettering and look. That's just pages for it or whatever. And then uh, oh, look here's a songbook, Cub Scout songbook. Order of the Arrow Handbook. We have a couple of uh, neckerchiefs here, which this stuff will probably go with that stuff. I don't know how Boy Scout works. What is all this stuff? I don't know. These are they have some cool stuff. This is an arrow of light. I know, what, but what are these slide things? What, where do they go? On the belt, maybe, or maybe on the sash or something. I don't yeah. look. Look, I think maybe on here. But look at all of me eyes. We have a cool little collection here. We didn't even look. We just now opened this up for the first time. Yeah, I like looking at different patches. These are all merit. Yeah. Look, look at this whittling chip. That's cool. Oh, oh, look. This is a Weeblos. Uh, see that? This is how the Weeblos do it. You get little pins. Mm -hmm. Look, I remember this. I was a Weeblo. Look, that's the showman. I remember that one. Artist. These are fun, but we're just going to probably just bundle, all, bundle this. all this together. Yeah. What'd uh, you pay for all this Boy Scout stuff? Everything, everything up here is five bucks. And she made me take these pillowcases. Yeah. She, um, she's like, she had a free table. She's like, you need any of this? I'm like, no. They didn't have this when I was in. Cake decorating? Cake decorating. No. 
Nope. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, check this out. Look, look. Do you have to do things to get to, the points uh, on the compass? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Whittling chip. Man, this is fun. I like this. Oh, Candace has one more thing to show. I bought this on Friday and I forgot it in the truck. I paid a dollar for it. Little enamel uh, turtles. Yeah. Belt buckle. So I just want to show you all that. What you got here on the bench? So everything on the bench right here, um, we bought all of these tools for uh, everything on the table right now is $140. Tools, so, books, and some bags we're going to show you. Yeah, I got, I'm keeping these books. I'm, I'm fairly handy, but we're about to do some reno, renovation type oh, stuff and sheds. Right. <laughs> and there's just all kind of like everything you can need. Right. Yeah. And I know a lot of this stuff, but there's a lot of stuff I don't know. Yeah. And um, I, when you don't know what you don't know, I thought it might be good to flip through some of these books and just look at them. So. All right. So this is Black and Decker Firestorm Tools. Yeah. So, first mm. of all, Ooh. go ahead. Didn't have a battery in it. <laughs> what? What are you doing? You think about it? don't? Uh. -uh. Well, you can't just keep it. Keep everything. We have to sell this stuff. <laughs> what I've been doing though, like this year. Uh, I've been using garage sales to upgrade my own tools So I'm not gonna get any of these because I have some craftsmen that I've got recently that I really like And I think it's a little better than these but yeah, uh, so look This now, has I, everything there sander. Yeah, and they haven't been used this hadn't been used I don't think that's being used there's, because we have a blade. There's a blade still on the plastic right here Although that looks like a sawzall blade mm. I don't know. This Maybe has not. definitely been used. Oh yeah. That's been used. It has two radios here. This looks new. But here's what I'm trying to figure out. Wait, we have that's these... a radio? Yeah. But is that it, also to charge? It runs off it runs off of a charger. But does it charge? But it does it charge? Uh -huh. It may because look, there's a port right here for something. So, but I don't have any other cords or anything, so I don't know. Well, this was in there. I don't... Oh, this was in there. Yeah. Oh, look, that does plug into there. Yeah. So that so we could power one of those, mm -hmm. and it would be a charger. Okay. And then we have these two drills. Two drills. This one it looks pretty new. It looks it has it's very little use. Yeah. And you can see it has this 20 volt lithium ion battery on it. So does this one. Mm-hmm. And then we also have a battery. Hand me that. We have two chargers, and we also have. This. And then we have this. This has never been used for sure. The reason I could tell is the blade is still in here. The blade is still in that packaging right there. Uh, we also have dust co some dust collection attachments. I just got to figure out what's for what. Like these go to this little dust buster thing. Right, but there's also like I think some dust collection. Yeah. Maybe for the sander. Yeah. And maybe for this, although I'm not sure. We have a battery for this too. Right here. Let me see, fit it in there. Is that the same battery as it? I don't know. This is like a third part. You gotta go all I the got way. It. I'm just trying to hit it. <laughs> okay. You can see. So yeah good circle saw there and then we have black and decker oem charger and then this looks like maybe this isn't this is a th aftermarket because it doesn't say black and decker on mm -hmm. it anywhere it looks legit <laughs> so anyway oh and then also with this buy uh it came with this big bag they probably had you know bought one of these bundle things or whatever right so we got this big bag and then all of these craftsman bags these craftsmen like these are still connected together yeah we have those two we have this size and then these two bigger ones yeah yep. so i'm pretty happy with that I, I don't i'm not exactly sure how much these um tools go for but one thing i really liked about them was the condition um mm -hmm. uh, several of them have never been used the ones that have been used haven't been abused right. so 
that's uh that's everything that's everything we bought on that was saturday. just for saturday now before we started filming this video we also went to uh estate sales today quite a few mm -hmm. what six six yes and we were out a good part of the morning well, yeah yeah the whole morning yeah it, it was it was a, it was good we we got some good stuff today too yeah. uh which we're going to show y'all in the next video so thanks a bunch for watching and we will see y'all again soon bye y'all bye